We have taken these photos on the rear veranda of the Quezon Museum building. So, where was the action in 1968? You could say, it was all around you. Quezon was a major outpost for the United States Marine Corps during the Vietnam War. The base was originally built by United States forces in 1962, nearby an old French fort. However, history commemorates a siege, which occurred here, between the 21st January and 8th of April 1968, while the base was occupied in majority by the 26th Marine Regiment 3rd United States Marine Division. Quezon is located west of Dong Ha along Highway 9. There is a daily tour from Way City. Known as the DMZ Tour, it can be booked at any Way City hotel. You can also join these tours in Dong Ha. The tour visits several other historical features in the area including the Rock Pile, Da Krong Bridge and the Vin Mok Tunnels. Excuse me, you see the beautiful river on your left hand side, you see the Krong River, D-A-K-R-O-N-G. DMZ is short for the Vietnamese Demilitarized Zone. During the Vietnam War, the area, only several miles wide, divided the Communist, North Vietnam, from the South Vietnam Republic. North Vietnam wanted reunification, so they infiltrated into the south through this area. The U.S. Marine Corps had many combat bases in this area of which Quezon and Rock Pile are just two. It is said that the Ho Chi Minh Trail, in South Vietnam, started in the vicinity of the Da Krong Bridge. The rock pile is located at the junction of five major valleys and less than 16 kilometers away from the hotly contested DMZ. It has a commanding view over the surrounding area including several key infiltration routes used by North Vietnamese forces during the Vietnam War. A U.S. Marine Corps observation post was located right on top of the 240 meters hill where you can see the Vietnam flag at the foot of the hill. Elliott Combat Base was located, where U.S. Marines and artillery units were stationed. The fire base had the larger 175mm gun and could easily support Quezon, 20 km away. Highway 9, the road to Khe Son, mostly follows the exact same route as in the Vietnam War. Excepting of course, that it has been upgraded. During the Siege of Khe Son, also known as the Battle of Khe Son, the highway in this area was totally taken over by North Vietnamese forces. Many Marines lost their lives trying to retain control of the road to Khe Son. We stop here at the beginning of a dark room river, dark room bridge. The bridge is will be with 1999 and it's a crossing that river. Over there you see the public highway, you see a dark 
Castro, the Cuban dictator, provided the funds to build the impressive bridge. There is a memorial to the Ho Chi Minh Trail on the other side of the bridge. The Dock Rong Bridge, is midway along Highway 9, and is the starting point of Highway 15. During the war, it was one of the main branches of the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Highway 15 leads south to the Aishao Valley and the infamous Hamburger Hill. In this vicinity, there are several shallow crossings, of the river, which is probably the reason why it is on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. The siege and battle of Quezon, refer to the same event. Although historians record the siege as finishing in early April 1968, whereas the actual battle of Quezon continued into early July. In 1968, all of this area, as we approach Quezon was heavily carpet bombed by B-52s. 100,000 tons of bombs, equivalent in destructive force to five Hiroshima-sized atomic bombs and 158,000 large-caliber artillery shells were fired onto the hills surrounding the base. Casualties, from the battle, are still continuing to this day, as often old ordinances explode killing farmers, children and metal scavengers. On arrival at Quezon, Generally you will experience the same weather as the Marines in 68. Wind, mist and rain. Apart from combat, the veterans will also add to the list of discomforts. The rat plague, red mud, and fog is unforgettable. Much of the old base at Khe Song, not devoted to the museum, grows coffee. Interestingly, Prior to the war much of the base was a French coffee plantation. On the map, the museum building is located here. We now Overlay a 1968 photo of the old marine base at Khe Son. You can see the large base, completely surrounded the museum building area. On the 68 photo, the museum building is located between the area the marines knew as the Ponderosa, and the 105mm artillery A battery, which is up the hill on the left side when standing in front of the museum building. Today, when walking up the hill towards the A battery area, there are collections of unexploded aerial bombs, and exploded bomb shrapnel. It was a surprise, to see that an old 105mm artillery piece had been placed in the correct spot, as if a memorial to the marines that served here.
that interesting fenced off area, we look at in case on part 2. There are a number of remade, what looks to be gun emplacements, so there has been some research, by the museum to obtain the correct position of relics. Here are a couple of war period photos of the area. The base, was located on a small flat plateau, the north side of which descends into a deep valley. Perched on the north side of the plateau was the dominant feature of the base, the 3,900-foot aluminum mat runway. When visiting the location of the base today, it appears that the airstrip was just behind the museum building. Some notations and guides often say this. But this is not correct. When looking northeast across from the back of the museum building, you will see a wall-type feature within the high grass, located around 100 meters in front of the Hercules aircraft. These are the six old helicopter protection bays, which are possibly one of the only remnants from the original base. All of the buildings and bunker complexes, standing today, have been rebuilt as examples. This is where today's Hercules exhibit, is located on the 1968 aerial photo. One of the major problems for Marines at Khe Son, was that the North Vietnamese, were able to fire 130mm artillery shells, directly onto the base from positions in Laos. On some days, over 1,000 shells, would hit the base along with mortar and 122mm rocket rounds. Supply planes like the Hercules, could not land, thus parachute drops were undertaken in the drop zone located here. We tried, to locate historical information, about this Hercules, but nothing was found. The paint looks original. The strip matting, is not the same as used at Quezon in 68.
We are now, looking up the old runway to the east. The buildings seen, have recently been built, and are to do with the electric hydro scheme. Although they do give an indication of the end of the runway. Further to the right, was the main ammo dump, as luck would have it, one of the first rockets, to crash onto the base. Hit the 1,500 tons of ammunition, the whole base lit up like a flare. Helicopters parked where we are standing were scattered like 10 pins. The CH-47 Chinook, was one of the workhorses used to resupply Kaesan. At least one, was wrecked on the runway from enemy fire. These may be original Quezon relics. During the Battle of Khe Son, around 20,000 North Vietnamese Army soldiers, 
surrounded the whole base, but the majority of action was on the north side of the base, thus the reason why so many period photos and film, are looking towards the northern aspect. On the north side, fighting and support aerial bombing, was right to the perimeter. These photos are taken of action on the northern perimeter. The valley in front and to the west towards Laos, was heavily carpet bombed. Four kilometers up the valley, recently a dam was built where the B-52 bomb craters can still be seen.